All right, just taking a quick look at this new All Powers R600. This is a very impressive looking unit. You know, this thing's about 300 watt hours. In this kind of smaller power station size class that's been dominated by the Blue Eddy EB3A and the Eagle Flow River 2 series, right? But um, this thing's actually got some better specs than, than both the Blue Eddy and the Eagle Flow. And that's, that's including, I mean, some of these specs are even better than the Eagle Flow River Max. So yeah, these power stations just keep getting better and better. And uh, so obviously, as you can tell, I'm quite excited to take a look at this thing and kind of kind of go through the specs with it with you right and if you didn't know all powers isn't new to power stations they actually have a whole lineup of these things that kind of have that same design language that you see here this is kind of like their, their first entry into these things you know it's not the greatest design we basically just get the you know it's based around this kind of rectangular box and you know generic screen generic switches <laughs> and of course, you know, because this thing was designed a few years ago, they had to throw in some orange, you know, because everybody was copying Jackery at that time. And then we get this um, kind of like tall form factor, not the greatest thing, because you don't really want to have a risk of these things tipping over and stuff like that, right? But the newer models, actually, they kind of redesigned it a little bit. You know, we do see we get this nice wider base on it. And, then, you know, they got rid of the orange, right? And they kind of updated the screen on it as well. And as you can see, they've kind of been working their way towards this new design, right? So this is just, you know, it definitely looks a little bit more modern. I like that they're uh, interlocking these two different types of plastic. And, uh, you know, they've added some curve to it as well, right? Now, usually I like to kind of go in depth, you know, with a design analysis on these power stations. But, you know, this one, the specs have just got me so excited on this unit. I think we'll come back to that. Let's just jump right into the specs on this thing. So we do get a 600 watt inverter, which, you know, I'm, not, I'm actually on these smaller power stations. I'm not the biggest fan of having like a real large inverter like this because generally it's just going to be more efficient to have a smaller inverter. But if you are going to run like a bunch of smaller loads, you know, simultaneously, it, it can be nice to have a bigger inverter. So this this actually matches the output on the Blue Eddy. And this is actually better than what EagleFlow offers with the River 2 Series. And one thing to note, too, because if you look at, you know, what EagleFlow says on their Amazon listings, you know, basically they advertise the kind of like the max thing it can power. But that's with X-Boost. Actually, the, the regular River 2 only has a 300-watt inverter, and the River 2 Max has a 500-watt inverter. You know, the higher numbers that you see listed basically is just like with X-Boost uh, enabled, which actually drops the voltage. You don't want to use that on anything other than like, something that has like a resistive heater you know it is nice to be able to power like a, a hot plate or an electric kettle or something like that with those units you're not going to be powering like like regular electronic devices with that thing so that's just you know one thing to note so that could kind of be like a pro or con like depending on how you plan to use these things now blue eddy also offers that kind of you know voltage dropping feature but i don't think all powers has that feature i haven't seen it mentioned anywhere here and then we do get two 100 watt usb c so this is kind of you know the best that's out there and a wireless charger right on top. Now we also do get a UPS, and this is actually less than 10 milliseconds. So this is like a true UPS, something that you can really count on. The Blue Eddies, uh, they claim 20 milliseconds. And EcoFlow, as you know, they don't even like to call it a UPS. They call it EPS. And they claim 30 milliseconds, which is basically like, you know, at 30 milliseconds, I, I wouldn't count on that working all the time. Like it might work, uh, but it might not, right? And even 20 milliseconds is kind of like, you know questionable so i like to see if you're going to have a ups you know definitely have it less than 10 milliseconds right that's something you can kind of count on and of course being a brand new power system we get an lfp battery and it looks like they're also offering a five-year warranty so that's good and now of course they haven't forgotten the app right so they do have the app and then one thing they do note is it seems like it's only bluetooth not bluetooth and wi-fi you know i like to see kind of both of those options um you know bluetooth is great it's easier to set up right generally but um, you, you could be limited in range in it, right? So I do like to see the kind of the option to have both. And now the charging specs, this is, this is what really impressed me. So basically with the, with the wall charger, and you don't have any kind of power brick with this thing. I mean, they, you know, I don't think that even needs to be said at this point. And we do get 400 watts like max input on this thing. So that's like a little bit over one hour. Very similar to both the Blue Eddy and the EcoFlow. And the one thing I really like is they give you these options, right? So it's not just the, the fast speed that you got to use because generally, you know, as I talk about in a lot of my videos, you don't want to do the fastest charge unless you really need it because it's just going to be harder on the battery. You know, if you really want your battery to last long, and this is, you know, even with an LFP battery, if you do the slower charge, it's just going to last longer than it would if you do a fast charge, right? So I really like to see these other options, including this mute mode. So 200 watts, I mean, that's still a good clip. I mean, that's still going to do it in like probably less than two hours. And I'm guessing what they mean by this is that you're not going to have to worry about the fans like ever coming on. So that's real good stuff to see. 
And then the last thing is the solar. I mean, this has probably the, been the one thing you've been worrying about, right? It, it almost seems like too good to be true with this thing. But um, this thing is not going to disappoint you on solar either. So check this out. 300 watt max input. And guess what? This is actually up to 60 volts. So um, yeah, this is 300 watt hour battery, right? So we're talking about a 1C charge rate on this. And, um, you know, with 60 volts, that means you can, you can hook up uh, multiple panels, right? You can hook up multiple panels in series. It just makes it super easy. You can, it's easy to over panel this thing as well, right? So you can, you can really make sure you get those 300 watts. And this, uh, you know, this is better than what uh, EcoFlow and Blue Eddy offers, right? The Blue Eddy is, is actually quite disappointing. 200 watts, 28 volt max. And then the River 2 is actually very low. You know, basically the same voltage as the Blue Eddy, but only 110 watts coming in. But if you get the River 2 Max, you do get that higher voltage up to 50 volts that can, you know, you can run stuff in series with that as well. But they do cap it at 220 watts. So, you know, and that's a bigger battery than this thing, right? So, yeah, 300 watts, um, good stuff. And it is an XT60 too that they're using. So they're not using some proprietary thing, right? So I like to see XT60 connectors on these things. And, you know, they got that as well. All right, let's just talk about the design real quick just to kind of cap this thing off. And, um, you know, because obviously those specs are just, you know, across the board excellent. We do get this new form factor with the wider base. So, you know, this thing's definitely, you're not going to have a, as much of a risk with this thing tipping over. We get the, you know, the folding handle up here that folds in, tucks in right there. And so that gives us this nice flat top, right? So that's, that's kind of one of the major things we always like to see with these power stations. So you can stack stuff on top of them and whatnot. Or even just throw your phone up there, right? Especially since it's got that nice wireless charger on it. Now, all the output ports are on the front. So that's kind of one of the things I always like to look for. It just makes it so much easier. Although we do have the, the charging ports on the side. But, you know, on a smaller unit like that, you know, you're limited on the amount of space out on the front of it, right? So I don't, I'm not going to complain too much about that. Um, the one thing I will complain about is this light. I hate having these um, kind of like regular flashlight style lights, especially on the front of the unit. Like, you know, if, if you're in a dark situation, this light is probably just going to like blind you, right? As, as you're trying to look at the front of the unit. So I like to see kind of like a diffused, um, you know, light on it or, or lens on it. And, um, and generally, I like to see it kind of not on the front. You know, that way, like I said, you don't have to worry about it blinding you. I don't think anybody's ever going to make the perfect unit. And I'd rather have a light than not have a light, right? Now, another design detail that's interesting that All Powers kind of likes to do on all their power stations, they kind of have these like upside down AC ports on them. You know, actually, this can be a good idea, right? Because if, if you got a like a, a wall plug that has like a, a, a block on it, right, and the, the cord kind of drops down from it, um, you know, if you have this thing set on a, on a surface, right, a floor or a table like that, you don't have like a whole lot of distance between the plug and the bottom of the unit. And it could make it difficult to plug something like that into it, right? So with this, you're going to have, you know, the cord basically routed up, up and around the unit. So that's, that can actually be a good thing. And then just zooming in here, um, you know, one thing that is a little bit disappointing is they actually have this switch here, powers the USB and um, all the 12 volt stuff. So that's all on one circuit. I like to kind of see that broken up. Um, you know, basically it's just going to be more efficient if you're using USB, you don't, you know, you don't want to have this powered as well, right? Because it's just going to, it's just going to use a little bit of uh, more power. It's not, you know, the end of the world, but generally we like to see those on separate circuits. And then we do get this very nice looking LCD screen. This is an all new design for all powers. And this is a big improvement over what they've been using, kind of those more generic looking screens, right? This thing, you know, it looks high definition. It looks, looks real high contrast and crisp. And I really like how they have all the icons kind of up at the top. And we, of course, we got, you know, the, the input watts, output watts, and we got time remaining as well, right? So I'm glad to see that they invested some money to come up with this all new screen design, right? Because, you know, basically, if, if there's one thing, if there's one thing that can really like make or break a power station as far as making it look, you know, not cheap and making it just look more expensive, it's a screen, like, like have a good screen on it, right? I mean, this is something that, that EcoFlow kind of pioneered first, right? And then just a few final notes, they do offer this carrying bag. Um, this isn't included, you know, this is a, you know, an optional extra, but it is nice to have if, if you want to have something like that. And then just a couple of other things that I see here is if you see some of these pictures, they have these covers on the AC outlets. This is probably for the European models. They have those big, kind of like, they're kind of like these big, ugly outlets on them. So I'm thinking that's what it is. I, I don't think it's going to come on the American models. So that's just maybe something to note. 
And then just one final little design detail that I noticed. A lot of these pictures, you can see there's like some green, some green light coming from the side vents here. I'm not exactly sure if it's something that like is, is something that glows green or if they just have some like green in there, as you can see here in this kind of exploded view. But either way, it's just kind of a nice design detail. And, and the reason they have it like that is because the power button lights up green, you know, the switches light up green and stuff like that as well. So it just kind of ties it in. But yeah, so that's the All Powers R600, a very impressive unit. And uh, hopefully you just found this video interesting or helpful. And yeah, thanks for watching.